So I shall now uh, take all of us into this site. This site is actually work in progress. Okay, there are certain things uh, lacking there. Feel free to inform us and we will work accordingly. So I'm going in there now. Dr. Kenneth, are you able to see the website now? From, uh, it is visible, Prof. Okay. Yeah. okay, thank you. So this is uh, our TL at uh, UMS. So over here, it says, uh, you know, welcome to this platform, which has been designed and developed for sharing your personal experience within the area of teaching and learning during especially the movement control order and beyond. Okay? And this is the form that you click and then you fill in to submit whatever that you want to share. Okay? Okay. So, uh, this is a forward from uh, Prof. Rasik. And I think every one of us uh, need to spend time uh, just to go through this. Uh, may I allow me just to read a few points over here? Uh, Prof. Rasik says that uh, UMS now holds a growing community of TEL practitioners. Okay, it's true. Uh, many of us have undergone training, whether you learn yourself, train yourself, you know, and we have done a lot. Okay, uh, because of this, our blended learning, our online has been really on the high. Okay, so Prof. Rashid is calling now uh, for us to come forward, okay, to share. So he says, this website in second paragraph, which is hosted by CEL, is an official platform for our esteemed academician to showcase and present their innovative practices in the area of teaching and learning. Okay, so this website will serve as a platform for us, okay, to deposit example of best practices for the benefit of UMS community of practitioners. In the last paragraph, I look forward to your cooperation and support in fostering the spirit of online teaching and learning at UMS in keeping with our vision of evolving into an innovative university of global standing. So uh, thank you, Prof. Uh, Rasik, uh, for taking this initiative, this peer heading, and on our part of PEP, uh, we just make an attempt to establish this platform. And as we say, it is uh, open to suggestion for improvement. Okay. So in the second paragraph, I did say something here. Despite various limitations in this period of uh, MCO, many of us continue to facilitate teaching and learning online activities using different technology tools. So now we invite you to share your experience related to any aspect of teaching and learning online how you facilitate your students' activities remotely, how you conduct your online assessment, how did you successfully reach out to your students who were in localities that are low or even no internet connectivity, low bandwidth, but you were able to reach them. How did you do it? So please share, okay? It is true, you know, that uh, across all the uh, IPTAs, across all the public universities, uh, there have been experts uh, that have been uh, sharing how to, how to, how to, yeah. But uh, we uh, in PEP, and also we discussed with uh, also Prof. Uh, TNCA, Prof. Rasid, that uh, the precious little experience among normal practitioners, among ourselves, is even more valuable, okay? Yes, we need the expert to share to us the how-to, how-to, but how we apply can be very innovative and creative. Now, this is what we want, okay? So, how little or how big your experience is, please, it is precious. How little it may be, it is precious. So, we need them. And this platform is to share it, right? Uh, down here is actually a poster and you can later on, you know, uh, in your free time, click it. And this poster uh, talks about how to use a smart UMS, uh, especially the version 3, okay? And every one of them are clickable. You just click it, uh, there will be a short video describing to you how to use, for example, H5P, okay? Uh, H5P, by the way, is how to make your kandungan online interactive. 
Okay, uh, so things like that. Everything is out here. Uh, we have also a uh, step by step uh, on using V3. Some of us need the manual. So by using this manual, dalam satu malam sahaja, you can finish this manual and you become expert lah dalam uh, version 3, uh, Smart V3. Okay, so please spend time in it. I shall now uh, show you, okay, that up here, we have a sharing of practices, we have uh, digital tools, we have OER resources, and we are sharing from all the other public universities. As we say, we will continue to upload many, many more. Okay, so they are work in progress. Allow me to now show whatever that uh, you submit and if it is uh, accepted, then we will share it here. So you can see that uh, those that come in are from these uh, four faculties. Okay, five in fact. Okay, so as more come in, you will see your faculty appearing here. There are three sharing from a faculty science social than kemanusiaan. Okay, so example, example. This is uh, Encik Sohami, okay, alias Sohami uh, bin Maki, and uh, he is one of my former, uh, he's one of my colleagues, okay, in uh, FSSH. Let me tell you, Encik Sohami have problem in using Smart V3. Okay, Encik Sohami has problem of using technology. Okay. Now, how in the world is he continuing his education with his students? Let's have a look. Please allow him to share something and let's listen. Assalamualaikum. Selamat datang kepada semua pelajar yang mengikuti kelas pengantar dan matahari. Ini suatu pengalaman baru untuk saya sebab saya tak pernah belajar orang di alam maya tapi langsung berada pantai. Karena ini adalah keadaan yang perlu kita lalui. Saya mohon semua pelajar mengikuti arahan saya karena ini adalah jadual yang perlu kita laksanakan melalui alam maya. Mungkin uh, suatu hal yang terakhir kita cuba usahakan adalah melalui WhatsApp. Karena itu untuk saya pribadi lebih mudah daripada smart. Itu saya sudah cuba berkali-kali tidak berhasil jadi saya mengambil pesan atas nasihat Beto uh, Program Jawa Pekorosti saya pikir ini yang terbaik uh, kita sudah melalui proses uh, beberapa minggu, empat minggu membuat improvisasi secara bebas dan saya sudah mulai menyuruh anda semua untuk cuba untuk berimprovisasi uh, eksplograf harimau satu, satu sudah dibuat dan satu lagi uh, tolong menonton uh, di YouTube tentang apa ini Lion King uh, kemudian demo the making of Lion King tulis laporan itu tapi sampaikan melalui WhatsApp ini kepada saya melalui rekaman video uh, saya harap kamu buat secara individu nah, kamu bertujuh lebih mudah buat masing-masing uh, gunakan rekaman video ini dan kamu berexplor uh, macam eksplorasi gerak itu selama 15 menit tapi uh, tentang YouTube itu tentang bagaimana kamu menganalisis apa uh, ini Lion King dan mau kamu tulis dulu pahami dan kamu cekat di, di depan kamera dan kirimkan kepada saya saya kira itu tugas minggu ini dan kirimkan secara uh, secepat mungkin untuk kelas Terima kasih jaga diri kamu semua, pakai masker keluar, jaga makanan, pakai glove, dan juga uh, banyak cuci tangan, jaga kesehatan. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat datang. Encik Suhami uh, conducted his uh, PPJJ okay. uh, using WhatsApp okay. and his uh, camera. And he illustrates his uh, choreography by showing his students uh, some examples. Okay. 
besar mengembangkan irama suara menterjemahkan oke okay. you want to understand what is choreography uh, drama drama apa itu drama tasi uh, you can look into it and for example here uh, his uh, students work so he tell them to do it and then they just use a normal uh, camera and they record it and they submit it to into Suhami, Suhami uh, respond to WhatsApp, give them assessment, give them correction and so on. Maybe I just show one more. Okay, so he says a uh, process uh, mengenang gerak yang berwatak yang kemudian diolah menjadi sebuah choreography dramatari. Uh, this is improvisasi watak. Okay, anyway. Uh, I think this is a wonderful uh, example, you know, of somebody who don't know technology and now he shares concerning how actually WhatsApp in the camera is good enough for him actually to find uh, PPJJ. Allow me to now just show another one. This is a uh, Dr. Intan Soliha Ibrahim, okay, and uh, she do something concerning a Pendabitan video. So, she emphasized on something called uh, asynchronous uh, learning and why she do it that way. Let's listen to her. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Hari ini saya akan berkongsi dengan rakan-rakan sekalian pengalaman saya dalam mengadaptasi kaedah pengajaran dan pembelajaran secara asynchronous e-learning ke dalam khusus AK20803 iaitu Radio Production 2. Kenapa saya memilih asynchronous e-learning ini? Kerana ianya merupakan sebuah uh, kaedah yang memudah cara yang mana pelajar boleh mengakses kepada kandungan kuliah kita at any time and anywhere. Dan untuk maklumat rakan-rakan sekalian juga, AK20803 itu merupakan sebuah khusus yang bersifat continuous assessment dan melibatkan penggunaan software and Jadi pelajar perlu belajar cara bagaimana untuk menggunakan software editing tersebut dalam mengedit bahan-bahan rak. Kamar ini termaktub uh, dalam CNO2 bagi khusus AK20. Pertamanya kita rakam dan dia terus simpan dalam komputer kita. Lepas itu, adalah, ada certain pelajar yang dah menutup. Yang mana rakan-rakan boleh buat recording menggunakan Zoom. Tapi uh, untuk Zoom ni, ikut pengalaman saya, saya memerlukan uh, internet konjur dan juga pelajar. Okay, bye! Okay, so that is from uh, Dr. Intan. Okay, you can uh, look at some of her work over here. And she has got students who also responded to her work. Let's look at some of them. Hi, salam damai. Uh, Sepanjang perintah kawalan pergerakan tidak dijalankan, pembelajaran bagi subjek AK20803 penerbitan Raja 2 masih dijalankan uh, di mana video-video uh, pendapat -video kami yang sudah dimuat dan sedia di Smart Inkeri oleh Dr. Intan membolehkan kami uh, menonton video tersebut seberapa banyak yang kami mahu saya tengah faham dan walaupun masih uh, terdapat kemusyikan ataupun persoalan berkenaan sesuatu yang saya menikmati masih boleh bertanyakan kepada uh, Dr. Bersyukur uh, uh, tugasan atau penyelesaian kami yang terbaru yang ulasan sukan masih dapat dihantar dengan cahayanya. So, again, you know, uh, these responses from the students are so valuable that uh, during this time of uh, MCO social distancing, uh, effective teaching and learning is taking place and they're able actually to uh, complete their task. By the way, for every submission that you provide to us, uh, we put it here and there will be a place where you have any comments or any questions, you can type it in here and the respective uh, lecturers will be able to 
uh, respond to you. Okay. So this one is uh, another course, information technology for communication students. These are my students. And here uh, I just will go through very quickly that uh, sample of instruction that I give the students during the MCO period. Now, uh, for example, I prepare a pre-recorded uh, video for them and we remotely just look at it and our students, you know, especially to do with the world of technology, uh, they can pick it up very, very quickly. Okay, so example. Okay, so example things like that. Okay, then uh, we give them instruction. Okay, uh, congratulations. You have been using a booklet to curate. Okay, uh, to produce a multimedia story related to COVID nineteen. So I think the topic current is also very good for them. Okay, and then give them step by step on what to do. Okay, because you are not there to tell them face to face. Okay, and then uh, they produce a screencast. Okay, if they produce a screencast. Now, example. screen at the moment I'm back okay so uh, you know so there are some responses to the students okay Dr. Kenneth are you looking at something called group project yes prof that's correct it's a group project now uh, this is something very interesting uh, now at the second uh, phase of the semester two so the students are doing a group project so actually, they are already separated into what uh, they already uh, allocated into twenty-four groups. Now, uh, recently, I told them to conduct a survey among themselves. Okay, uh, and they found that some groups, for example, number five and number fourteen. So number fourteen, group number fourteen, there were four people within the group. One group is about five people, is it? So about four people within the group have got no internet connectivity or even very low internet connectivity. So this group is going to be a victim of group project, especially if it involves you know, the use of technology. So how could we um, make sure that no students are left behind? So I explained it to the students. Uh, I did a Google Meet with them. And I tell you, our students you know, in UMS Prof. Rastik is really you know, very, very good. They are so accommodating. So I told them, you know, those of you where somehow you're staying in places where the locality is having good uh, connectivity, high bandwidth, okay? Hey, what about the others who are in no connectivity? Can you bring them in? Can you just see which of the group that needs help and then merge? So that is where uh, just two days ago, they merged. 1 and 21. After they already wear, you know, disadvantaged people are there, they merge with the advantaged people. So that now, in their project, they'll be doing something on COVID-19. They're going to make a multimedia uh, report on it. They're going to make a broadcast out of it. They're going to put it into YouTube. They're going to share. So uh, those no internet connectivity, they will be they are masing masing. So some of them will be doing a script writing, you know. Uh, some of them will be doing the reporting, while those with high connectivity will go out and search and so on. So okay. So I think I put a note there. Students back, you know, in uh, different localities across Sabah, some are located in places of no internet connectivity and so on. So groups will merge to ensure that no students are left behind. Uh, distribution of individual tasks and contribution and accordance to their internet accessibility and bandwidth level. So students were very understanding to merge and mutually support one another as a community of learners. So our my monitor here is uh, Hafi. 
and together with all the Ketua uh, Kumpulan Masing Masing, 24 of them, uh, I give a note to them. Thank you very much for the understanding and cooperation in merging the group. Uh, it's a sacrifice, you know, uh, because some of them are really excellent. Okay? But now they bring in Coco, the disadvantaged one. It may affect their yeah, whatever, but they were so accommodating. accommodating. Uh, for this, you know, I really appreciate uh, that our students' attitude in UMS is really good, very healthy. Okay. So, uh, can I just jump into, allow me to just show two more. Okay. Associate Professor Tuan Haji Osman, okay. I tell you, this is a classical example where he conducts his uh, lecture. This one actually is within one year. But the other one, capital budget means like buying the fixed asset. Okay? And fixed asset is the like, vehicles, factories. You can see that uh, John Haji Osman, whatever he say, uh, the text also come out because it's one of the features, you know, that uh, the Google Meet can do, okay, automatically. So in case people don't hear clearly, they can actually read the text. And then we also cash. Your profit is negative. Cash is up. Because it's bigger, sir. He's so very considerate of uh, Tuan Haji, you know, uh, to put his uh, materials and using QR code for those who are absent I think the, or late. Uh, the picture can be bigger. Oh, okay, okay. I can, uh, what I do? Thank okay. you. Now, this is, I thought was fantastic, you know. He conduct, Tuan Haji, conduct uh, online test. And this uh, video that he submitted is one hour. What happened is that uh, Don Haji Osman asked all his students, do your test, put on your camera. <laughs> I thought it was so innovative of him. So he's invigilating Marika. He's an invigilator, watching each and every one of them, okay? And I think uh, his questions were also all randomized. So nobody can actually contact one another to say, hey, so all I need is macam mana? Because everybody are doing their different questions probably. So maybe uh, afterwards, uh, during question and answer, if Tuan uh, Osman, Dr. Intan, NJ uh, Tuhami, uh, can just say a little word concerning, you know, uh, the impact of all this would be good. Okay, so similarly, all the rest, you know, got uh, FPSK, uh, Dr. I. I. Win, okay, uh, okay, uh, has already submitted, okay, Dr. Nang, okay, so, and many more, I know many more uh, that will be coming in, okay, I believe uh, Professor Dili, uh, Professor Mahir, I believe uh, so many more will be submitting. Uh, as teachers for our fellow lecturers, okay? Uh, FSMP, uh, Dr. Fan, I think it's Dr. Klo Fan, okay? Now, she didn't use Loom, she didn't use a screencast automatic. she just used PowerPoint. So you know that PowerPoint just uh, can also narrate your PowerPoint and you save it into a video. It's really wonderful. Okay, uh, science. Many people say, you know, many people are saying, you know, uh, my course, I need them to have hands on. So let's look at this example, you know. The usage of RNA supply, many kit for the extraction of RNA. So, okay. 
Yes, they cannot come to the uh, mouth, they cannot come to the leg, but at least uh, this lecturer is able to illustrate uh, on how it should be conducted. And when time returns back to normal, at least they very quickly uh, can come and uh, conduct the experiment. This can lead to disruption of the membrane. Okay, so I think it's a good idea. Uh, even this. Okay. So the usage of uh, scientific instrumentation can be demonstrated by the employment of uh, instructional video is the case. Okay. Uh, to explain the uh, SP of the range of instruments. So these are all precious. This uh, experience, thank you, you know, for sharing. And uh, I believe many of us uh, will have an idea of actually how to uh, modify to adopt or adapt uh, uh, as to be able to prepare something like this for the benefit of students. Okay, so uh, please, all these uh, will continue to be populated, okay, uh, as long as you submit. And please remember, every one of them are precious. In uh, digital tools, uh, we have a short little clip, okay, on, for example, you know, how to uh, make your content interactive and put it into a smart V3, how to those of our students, you know, in low uh, connectivity places or low bandwidth, how to make use of electricity uh, to reach out to them, and a lot more, okay? Uh, and there will be many more. So those of you who have something to share, uh, please come in, okay, to share all this, okay? We have uh, OER resources, and for example, you know, uh, this one, keeping doors of the learning open, okay? And uh, recently, uh, Professor Rasi uh, has made arrangement to become a partner of this particular uh, area. And we are given a lot of resources over here, a lot. So please explore. Huh? Now, for example, MIT Open Courseware, Merlot. Uh, all these are, by the way, OER. All these are, you can use them freely, okay? Swazam, Swayam in uh, India, over 500 courses, all of them are actually Creative Commons, BY. That means uh, you can take the video, you can take anything from them and use it, quote, quote freely, okay, uh, in our university. So we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We need help at this point in time. Okay, so all these are made available for us. 